He's like 14 pounds, so I struggle carrying him because I do not work out. Is that bad? It is bad. Let's get started. I know I haven't been on for such a long time, but today it's a bit different. I'm gonna go over my trench coat collection that I purchased this year, because I have a lot of coats. I love coats. I'm a sucker for coats. <laughs> so if you like this type of videos, then please like and subscribe and just hit that bell. And if you wanna talk fashion style, DM me on my Instagram at TCP underscore luxury free. Here's a tall wee boy. So Atari also got a checkup. That's why he's kind of like shaved here, but he's so fluffy you can't really tell. He's healthy as can be, of course, right, Tawi? He's outside in the catio while it's raining. It doesn't rain that much in California, but it's raining a little bit. He's covering his junk because he is shy. Say hi, Tawi. Say hi. <laughs> he is half Maine Coon, for those of you who don't know. And he's heavy. He's like 14 pounds, so I struggle carrying him because I do not work out. Is that bad? It is bad. Let's get started. Of course, you all know this, but at the end of the year, mainly after Christmas, there's like huge sales. And this is a Tommy Hilfiger trench coat. And oh my God, it was on sale. It is so beautiful. I love a good trench coat. Trench coat, I believe, is not as durable in the weather as pea coats. I feel like pea coats are like those navy trench coats that are just really thick, thick wool and can withstand the weather. Whereas trench coats, not really. <laughs> Cause obviously if it rains really hard, it will go right through this. So there's the buttons. I love the versatility of this because of this houndstooth design. It gives that nice like luxurious look, but then, you know, it's very casual as well. Dress it down with jeans, looks great. I feel like though you only can go to a certain point with, with this type of trench coat. You can go a little fancy, but not wedding or a special occasion. I think this is a this is a little bit too casual for that. But again, it's oh my ear, it's really beautiful. Here's the interior. It's really pretty. I was being a bit lazy. It's all Zara. It's all Zara outfit, and then I got these on Amazon with the white tip. They're like cowboy boots. They're suede. They're so comfortable. But this is what I'm wearing because you're not going to see this anyway with all the trench coats. Here is Tommy Hilfiger trench coat. Oh gosh, I probably should have put my hair in a bun. But as you can see how it fits, you know, it's simple to wear. It just uplifts your outfit right away. Um, it's comfortable. I mean, I can go to the office like this in comfort and not even worry about, am I meeting the, what's it called? See, I forgot, because I don't even go in the office anymore. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Am I meeting the criteria for how I should be wearing my clothes in the office? Comment below. <laughs> I totally forgot what it's called because we used to have only dress down Fridays and the dress down Fridays are very strict where you couldn't wear jeans with holes and whatnot. It has to be like very plain. But this is it. Black one, you need a black trench coat people. This is from Naked. This also went on sale. Obviously, I just purchased these not too long ago, a couple weeks ago. And I purchased size 34. And it's just really black. The fabric is different. It's really nice. I do love it. It's from Naked. It's a British brand. I forget. But it's very affordable. If you guys haven't heard of Naked, you guys really should check them out. I absolutely love this trench and I love when they're longer. This one is longer and it's a nice plain, you know, kind of oversized trench coat. There's the naked coat. 
really comfortable as well. As you can see, this one is longer and it's all black. And the fabric looks like this. It was on sale as well. I'm a coat fanatic. And you can open this up as well. It gives you that more uptight look or that you're just cold. It has pockets. And I'm five foot four, people, just for a reference. I am five foot four, so this is how it fits for someone that's five foot four. I did put these on so they have a little bit like a three inch heel. That's it. Next one, obviously I haven't worn it yet, <laughs> is a scotch and soda one. It actually just arrived today because the weather in the States, it's really bad, like the Midwest and stuff, so it arrived really late. But this is a really beautiful scotch and soda. Scotch and soda is an Amsterdam brand. And look at this. It does come with a cute little ornament pin, and the color is so pretty. I could not resist this one. I mean, I see the inside. I love scotch and soda. That's the inside. It's a beautiful trench coat, in my opinion. It's very thin. Again, like if you're in a really cold area, this is not gonna keep you warm. <laughs> You'd have to layer it. And trench coats, I don't think they're water resistant. So keep that in mind. So I love the little bits of scotch and soda. Hints here, hints of scotch and soda, I love that. Yeah, so that is my scotch and soda coat. I did get size small. This is the scotch and soda coat. It just arrived today actually, so I have not worn her out. Man, it's getting hot in the house. The heater's up. Anyway, so this is how this trench coat looks. It's really cute. Now this is more casual than the other ones. Like if I'm just, I don't know, going for a quick lunch with my husband or something, cause you know, we don't do much. <laughs> but I don't think it goes with the outfit that much. I try to put on a very neutral outfit so it can kind of go with everything, all the trench coats I have. But this one does have a lot of mint green in it. And it does have pockets, but they're so knit. And I love the details of Scotch So they put little hints of you know, like this pen, and then the pocket has a little tiny scotch and soda here. This beautiful trench coat. Why do I pause every time I talk? I don't know. This one, oh my god. I absolutely love Zimmerman. I saw this on the Real Real, and I was favoritized it like I usually do, and it went on sale and I was like, oh my God, I need to purchase it. I was afraid it wasn't gonna fit because size zero, it fits like a glove, it's perfect. And I love how these, but they're, they're not buttons, but they kind of clip in like so. I'm not doing it the right way, but as you can see, it is pretty heavy. Women is known for having their trench coats like this. Clip it in and then you just twist it instead of a button. It is so amazing! I love the cut of this. This is not an oversized one. It's more like form, form fitting. This is thicker. It's a lot thicker. Interior does say Zimmerman in the lining. See that there? And Zimmerman always comes with this little gold, gold chain. And yeah, I already removed the real, real tag. So this one's pretty, has some good weight to it. And I think this was the most expensive one out of all. Well, yeah, it is the most expensive uh, trench coat and one of my favorites. Forming coat is the heaviest one and it's not that heavy, I just exaggerated there. <laughs> I do want a camel color eventually. This is the authentic Zimmerman coat that I purchased. It is on the thicker side, so I feel like it's more pea coatish, but it's the it's size zero, which is fine. It does hug me like like a glove, but I still could breathe, you know? And this is how it looks when it's all buttoned up. This is more form-fitting form trench coat, and I would definitely wear this with a dress underneath because this is perfect for those Zimmerman dresses and it's kind of cold outside. Why not put a Zimmerman dress on underneath? And yeah, probably this is good for weddings. I would say if I had to go to a wedding, which 
think there might be two this year or next year. Um, I would wear this coat, this trench coat. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. The details of this coat is just beautiful. Like the thick um, cuffs, beautiful cuffs. And it does have pockets. It's buttoned up, so I'm not gonna like put my hand in there. But this is a really beautiful, hands down, my favorite trench coat besides my Gucci Dragon one. That one's one of my favorites too, but this one is really beautiful. It does, <laughs> does match my boots, which is really amazing. Next is this one. Now, this is from Karen Millen, and Karen Millen is like a British brand. And it's so freaking pretty. I saw it and I was like, oh, it's too expensive for what I, you know, I don't think I'm gonna pay for that because it's so expensive. But then when I saw the, like the details and the for honestly, the first time I saw this was at, on Crazy Bag Lady's YouTube channel. And when she wore it, I was like, oh my God, girl, you're not gonna keep that. That's so cute. And I fell in love with it. I typically don't like Karen Millen, but I don't know, something about this coat. Usually, I, every time I get something from Karen Millen, I always return it, and this time I actually kept it. And this is something I am gonna keep. A purchase size, US 4. It's beautiful, and it's really long, and I love gray. I love gray. I gotta be careful, because gray, I'll just keep buying and buying and buying it. Ornaments, oops. Let me show you the back. The back is the one that has like most of the crystals. Look at that design. I mean, you can't get more bling than that. Sure, it looks more like festive, I guess, Christmassy, but I don't, whenever it's cold, I'm gonna wear the heck out of this. I don't even care if it's not Christmas. <laughs> I love this. I love all of my trench coats, but this one in the Zimmerman one is hands down my favorite. So I kind of saved the two for last. The two, the two best for last, am I saying? Where's my other arm? Here. Okay. Here's the Karen Milan one. Not my favorite brand, but I saw Crazy, ba cra crazy Bag Lady. She purchased this. I was watching one of her videos because her videos make me feel calm. I just love her. But she purchased this and we just tried it on. She, it looked really good on her, but she didn't like it. I don't know why. But Karen Milan, Milan it's kind of Milan, 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 whatever. Karen Millen is very like specific. Like you could either receive it and the quality is like really crappy. But this one, I absolutely fell in love with it. Honestly, I love this trench coat. It's like a showstopper for me. And I love how it just, it's long. Again, I'm five foot four. So this is where it hits me. It's like my ankle is right below the coat. If it went any longer, I probably cannot purchase this because it'd be way too long. But if you are shorter than me, this will probably look a little odd unless you wear really high heels. Yeah, and this is size 34. Wait, don't quote me on that. <laughs> look at it. So it looks buttoned up. It like goes lower. It has like one of those lower, you know, like the Zimmerman one is very fitted, form fitted. Like the pockets are where your hips are. Everything is like in place. This one kind of gives it more like loose, casual vibe which is awesome because you can wear these with jeans and it will look so cute. Actually, you can wear all these trench coats with jeans. I'm wearing brown jeans right now, but yeah. What do y'all think? Hello everybody, what did you think about my trench coat collection of 2023 and 2024? I absolutely love it. It is still cold in California. Usually it stops getting cold around I wanna say after spring. Put these in, it's heavy. The Zimmerman trench coat is the heaviest. Some of these I can wear, they're not thick, thick. The Zimmerman one is kind of thick. And if it's, you know, a little bit like 50s or 60s, I still can wear these, but I'd have to wear something thinner inside like what I'm wearing now or a t-shirt or something casual. And then, you know, trench coats give you that kind of like oomph to your outfit. <laughs> anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and talk to you soon. Bye.